Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 491. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 490 to 493. In this uh, video here, uh, we have perfect match and individual people's guesses, and this could be for all sorts of things. Uh, a test, a, a gambling scheme, what, whatever it is. Uh, but we just want to count the number of matches and then see who got the most matches. Uh, this video we have the um, elements entered into nine individual cells. Actually in 92 I'll show you how to do it. If all of these values come into a single cell then you have to get a little bit fancier. This is pretty easy. We just have to ask is this cell equal to this? Is this cell equal to this? Is this cell equal to this? And then add them. We will use the sum product. Sum product can uh, handle arrays. And first let's do our um, our ranges, we're just going to go, bloop, is that right there? All of those individual cells, that's nine cells, are those equal to these nine cells? Now, I want to copy this down, so I need to lock this, because each one of these uh, different uh, set of guesses need to be compared to that, so I'm going to hit the F4 key. Now, that will give us, if you highlight this and hit the F9 key, evaluate, that gives us a bunch of trues and falses, right? There's some falses and trues. Control Z, don't leave it like that. How do you convert trues and falses to ones and zeros? I'm going to put uh, a parenthesis here, and then a, uh, a double negative and parenthesis. So all we've done is put double negative in front of uh, some parentheses, housed all the trues and falses. Come here to the end, close parentheses on the sum product, Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. And there we have it. So the six is the max if uh, if we change this to an E right here, right? So then that person would win. They would have seven with the most. All right, I'm going to come back. We'll see a little bit more complicated method if the values get dumped into your spreadsheet in a single cell. All right, we'll see you next trick.